Alright, what's up Clemson Nation? On my way back up to the upstate. Back up in Greenville. Down here at the very bottom of South Carolina right now. In the middle of Gamecock territory. Uh, first off, congratulations to all the Gamecock TTCers. Um, you know, talk about the game. What's wrong with Clemson? It's obvious what's wrong with Clemson. Um, and it all comes down to Taj Boyd. He's been the centerpiece of the mistakes of this offense sputtering. You got to put it all back on him. The kid, he was so poised earlier in the season and so confident. He'd stay in the pocket and throw it. Now, if you get any type of pressure on him, just like Don B said before, way back before the Virginia Tech game, he knew what you had to do to shut this kid down. You just blitz him a little bit and he freaks out. And he has proved that. He is not the player he was and does not deserve to start in the ACC championship game. You know, he just doesn't deserve to. He can't stand in there and throw the ball. He doesn't act like he wants to be there. He's scared of anything that moves. South Carolina did exactly what NC State did to us and uh, Georgia Tech. You know, it's not hard to beat Clemson right now. We're, we're the worst team. We're playing like the worst team in the ACC. I don't know if there's an ACC team we could beat right now. And we're playing in the championship next week. It's pathetic. But, you know, talk about the game. Um, Shaw did what we thought we'd do. He got the kind of the option thing going. Uh, Miles had some good plays, too. Wilds early, but doesn't seem. I don't know what happened, but they played much late. Um, a few good catches, deep passes that Clemson couldn't cover. Um, you can't put it too much on the defense because they rely on the offense to get going. When the offense is just playing like they did, the defense ain't going to play as good. If the offense had played good, the defense would have played good. It all comes down to it. Taj Boyd, you got to go, son. You don't want to play anymore. Your head's not in the game. I'm sorry. Uh, Dabo, you're back on the hot seat, losing to South Carolina three years in a row. Hadn't happened. No Clemson coach. Danny Ford never did that. Hatfield never did that. Bowden never did that. You're back on the hot seat, son. Um, you know, this game, it was horrible. You know, if there's one player from Clemson that I, I can say played his heart out and wanted this game, it was Andre Ellington. He played great that game. You know, he fought for every yard. He really wanted this game, without a doubt, and, um, you know, he proved that, but the rest of the team didn't want it, Boyd didn't want it, the receivers had a bad day, Watkins dropped the touchdown, he just, he was off, I guess the injury's still messing with him, I don't know what it was, but he was completely off, um, New Hopkins dropped a ton of passes, he was off. The receiver, the, the few times Boyd actually did get a pass off, the receivers dropped it. It was ridiculous. Um, you know, so it was just all around a bad game. I don't know how I can have any confidence coming into the Virginia Tech game. Still behind the Tigers 100%. Um, never thought I'd see the day that we lost to South Carolina. No, I'll just, I never thought we'd see the day we lost to them two years in a row. Now we lost to them three years in a row. So this is good. We're right back to where we started, left off in 2010. It's horrible. We're right back to where we left off. You know, probably worse than we were at the end of last year. Coaches haven't changed anything since the Georgia Tech game, so how can you have confidence going into the Virginia Tech game? I just don't understand how, you know, you got to take Boyd out if he doesn't want to play. The receivers got to step up. Offensive line played horrible. You know, that was part of the reason Boyd was scrambling. Boyd didn't need to scramble as much as he did. He had plenty of time in the pocket, and he still scrambled. Just horrible on his part. But the Gamecocks wanted it more for the third year in a row, and they, they earned it. Clemson's pathetic. You're a pathetic football team right now. we got to get it together. I just don't have any. I'm, I'm still going to bring an eight-week part two for Virginia Tech. You just got to pray that, I don't know, take Boyd out. I don't think we can win with Boyd. 